Welcome to the News Hub, I'm Michael Casey. Well, moments ago, software company Mozilla announced on their blog that Brendan Eich has stepped down as CEO. This follows public criticism from company employees after they discovered that Mr. Ike donated to California's Proposition 8 ballot banning gay marriage back in 2008. Mr. Ike was named CEO, that, that is, of the company that produces the Firefox uh, browser, on March 24 and held the office for less than two weeks. For a take on how companies should handle controversies in this new age of social media, we're joined by Heard on the Streets, Miriam Gottfried. Hello, Miriam. Thanks Hello. for joining us. My pleasure. This was all very dramatic. This sort of uh, came, he last week he's appointed, a yeah. week later he's out. It's it's remarkable Quite the how turnaround. quick this was. Yeah, yeah, tell us what happened. Well, I mean, basically it was it came out that he had given money to what was a very controversial measure in California, and employees kind of revolted, and uh, there was public outcry as well um, because you know I think Mozilla, which is the maker of the Firefox browser. Um, basically has sort of this reputation and an image of being sort of on the forefront, the cutting edge of the internet, you know, sort of a free spirited kind of company. And a lot of people saw this as maybe going against its image, its public image. Right. Uh, but, but also, you know, the, the fact that employees will take to Twitter in a very public yes. way. I mean, this is a new era in many respects. It really is. It really is. Um, and, you know, it just shows kind of the power of that to amplify voices that might have been silenced in the past or might not, never have been put out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, to me it sort of seems um, like... You know, this situation arose not necessarily, I mean, obviously not because Mr. I ha didn't have the technical skills to do this job, but because it kind of came out that maybe uh, employees wouldn't respect him or maybe, um, you know, brands that they work, that Mozilla works with wouldn't respect, and, and that somehow the board determined that this would prevent him from leading the company forward. Right, I think OkCupid, for example, the yes. dating site, yes. publicly came out and denounced it. I mean, so you could imagine these big users, you know, tell, directing people to use Google Chrome or some other alternative would have been a, a real blow And they even had board re members resigning because of it. Right, exactly. So, I mean, a really big fallout from it. But it would mean, it seems, that, you know, any executive search is now going to require all the more vetting of all the other possible pitfalls that may lie in their past. Uh, to me, it's, you know, I, it, I really go back to the culture of the company, though. In, your, in doing a search for an executive, you should always be looking, it seems to me, for an executive who matches the culture of your company. And, you know, maybe you don't, maybe it's too much to look through every single donation that an executive has given to a certain cause, but you should probably see, you know, does the this person's, culture, I mean, and that could include political views, right. align with the image that we're trying to put out there about our company. Right. And because it, it seems like there was a little bit of a clash But it's an there. interesting one. I mean, obviously, you would think the politics would align for a group like Mozilla with something like gay marriage right. rights. On the other hand, it's a free speech company. Right. I mean, and who who really knows? And should, should a CEO have to share his political views um, before uh, being appointed to a job? And, you know, it, it does sort of, you know, it, it could be a little frightening right. for some people um, to think of, you know, every single thing from their past or from their political, um, you know, donations being sort of unearthed for, for this period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky one. Yeah. Miriam, thank you so much for your My time. My pleasure.